Hey, oh. thought today was Sunday. Rip. Hey, it's not Sunday. It's Saturday. And linear time sucks. You pray. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's. Let's hop in the training room just. I'd certainly love having my wife around. <laughs> Have to be a person. <laughs> Welcome to time. Welcome to what? What in the world? They were there. People. Hello. Welcome to Get Great. Where we great get, get great. Where we great get. How'd you forget it was Sunday? People? Right, is the sound going through? It should be. I'm not hearing any sound from the Twitch. Hear nothing from the beard. Uh oh. Let's see. What happened here? All right. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm only hearing you through Discord. I'm not hearing you through the stream. Stream, stream? Twitch has sound. Sound? You can hear us? I mean, everything's okay. passing Scream through. loudly if you can hear us. <laughs> Just scream loudly. Very scream loudly. loudly if you can hear us. Oh, man. Oh. I, I mean, I'm, I'm okay. seeing all the meters going here, so it should be passing through. Okay. Did you try it with the thing Oliver got you for your birthday? Um, that needs some rerouting and failing oh, okay. in the way that I have it here. <laughs> and you would just get Oh. I'm sorry you don't have a day off today. Can I officially give you the day off today? Does that work? So here we have JP Laving. Like, oh my As God. you can see, he's picked pretty boring colors. <clears throat> oh. Greetings. Oh. I understand the feels. I feel like my work is constant now. It used to be. I saw my students five days a week, and now they can send me chats at any time. So, JP, what is Pain Wheel's game plan? Pain Wheel's game... game plan? Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. It's the play gun button. For here. Okay. Pain Wheel's game plan? You're not speaking very clearly. Here's Pain Wheel's game plan. Oh, her game plan is just to spin up there. You do this. Do this. No, some I don't these. know how to do that. Do you do some of those? Do one of these? Here? Over there? The gameplay is to be angry. <laughs> it's to be angry. That's the people. People's always angry. Really, you just kind of fly away and annoy your opponent to try to get in on you, and then you press one of these buttons, this jump meeting punch. Which is like a, a nice disjointed tool. You can do shenanigans like cross up like that. Uh, you can also do that. Uh, hitboxes, let's see. Where's the. Hey, those hitboxes. This is fairly disjointed. So you can annoy your opponent with that a couple times. You could, you could fake it as well. Not do it. Opponent see that. This is also a decent button because this is fairly disjointed. Uh, so basically, no your opponent to come towards you. You press that button or this button. You grab them on the way to on the way up or down. Uh, mostly just kind of do that. Can the people on the stream hear the words JP are saying? In my headphones, it comes off as tiny little snippets of sounds. That would be weird. That sounded better. And you guys can hear him clearly. I sound fine. Okay, that's weird. It might be just a Discord thing. It could be a Discord thing. Yeah, like, because I can hear you because you are, what, three feet from me. Yes. Um, but in the Discord, I'm just hearing... Pain. It's Discord. Okay. Or my headphones suck. I don't know, you've had those headphones for a long time. They've, they've it's consistently... 2015! A long time. <laughs> <laughs> My $20 Sadie's headphones. Cool. By the way, everybody, this is indeed the audio and video test, so let me know how the game looks. How do I sound? How does my wife sound? Uh, we, should, we should be okay. Let me get the... Uh, what we have. Say I sound like a demon. You don't sound like a demon? I didn't ask you. <clears throat> Still sound like, sound like teachers. <laughs> Shit. Oh no, we sound like oh, teachers. Wait. Uh, so this is the time point where I answer mythology questions. <laughs> let me let me make the sign-ups real quick. Because that's a thing that should happen. Ba ba ba. Here we go. Oh no, the matchups. It's the matchups. It shouldn't take too long. Uh this week's my students are learning about 
Sparta and Athens and the differences between the two. Did you know that if you were a young Spartan boy of seven, you'd be taken from your family, constantly whipped, try to, you know, work up your hardiness, be told to attack your other um, children that you were in the barracks, in which case many would die if they were not tough enough? Fifth grade. I te well, I teach fifth grade classical history, sixth grade creative writing, and seventh grade Latin. Because I don't do enough. If you're doing things, I can... Uh, it's a public charter school that I work at. Yes, in America. <laughs> Currently online. Can't play because I play on Switch. That is very sad. If you can get a video of a match you've done on the Switch and probably send that in to us on Discord, um, we can get some uh, commentary back to you. I say we. The commentary would not be coming from me because I know far more about ancient history than I know about Skullgirls. <laughs> He laughs because it's true. Can you pass me my Latin text? Your Latin text. <sighs> well, they start Latin in fifth grade, actually, at our school. Everyone takes Latin in fifth and sixth grade, and then seventh grade you get to choose between Latin, Mandarin, French, or Spanish. Um, and so I teach the Latin students. And then they can learn how to read things like Okay, Willa et Hortus Julii, Julius and Magna Willa Habitat, Pater et Mater et Tres Liberi and Willa Habitant, Julius et Emilia Tres Libros Habent, Duos Filios in Unum Filiam non Duas Filias. We are in the Eastern time zone. Indeed. EST. You haven't heard that story in a long while. Ah, it gets better. <clears throat> in Willa multa servi habitant, Dominus eorum est Julius est multus servos habet. Anquilae quoque multae in Willa habitant, Domina eorum est Emilia et multas ancillas habet. Oh my. It is from that Latin one book. What's well, one? It's lingua latina per se illustrata. Pars one familia romana. I also somewhere have The Hobbit in Latin, and uh, Winnie the Pooh, and uh, Harry Potter, and sometimes I read to the children in Latin if they're being not annoying. Let's see. Latin is easier to teach online than some of my modern language teachers because it's not so focused on being able to have conversation. Um, it's a lot more reading and translation. And uh, for us, the teachers have a better time because Google Translate is shit for Latin. So when the students try to cheat, it doesn't go well. Whereas when they try to cheat with the modern languages, it works, but then the students don't know anything. Mm-hmm. 
you didn't miss it. The matchups are getting posted shortly. JP is just squishing people around. Currently doing the matchups. Actually, almost done. So... Unless you're saying, did you miss the mythology segment? <laughs> Who can tell me all the ways in which Hercules, the Disney version, is incorrect? Let's see here. Google Translate is bad for anything longer than a word. Yes, it is. I usually, you know, if students want to figure out, since we don't have, they don't have access to their Latin dictionaries that we have at the school, I usually have them use Word Hippo to find out what the word is, and then use LatinIsSimple.com to find charts of each word um, to help them figure out word endings. But like, there isn't a single good website. That gets both the ending right and the and the um, translation. Uh, Megara does exist in the original story. In fact, Megara was Hercules's wife, and they had several children. And then, when Hera was having a bad day, she decided to curse Hercules, have him turn into rage berserker form, and murder his wife and children. So Megara was killed by Hercules along with all his kids. And after that is when he went to do the Twelve Labors. As a way of finding redemption and also ultimately ascending to godhood. And Hera was actually the bad guy, not Hades. Hades is actually generally a reasonable god. The Seder coach, absolutely not. Has nothing to do with the story. Mm-hmm. You know, Hades in actual Greek mythology spends all of his time actually doing his job and not cheating on his wife um, compared to the Disney version. Okay, matchups have been created. <laughs> School is weird, but I'm gonna go watch College Across. Well, I'm gonna watch some heckin' Skullgirls <laughs> and make random comments about their colors while JP is actually helpful. So it's fun. What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna... Well, I was gonna say, but I'm gonna go hang out with the kiddo. They are feeling lonely. I may be back, I may be not. Have fun. Oh, man. Scrolls baby. Okay, everybody, We've got four minutes till the shebang starts. I'm just gonna be in a tiny room messing around for a little bit. Um, this is the audio and video test, so let me know how everything sounds uh, between me and the games, since uh, my my wife's gonna be over there tending to our kiddo. Ba, 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 ba. Let me know how I sound versus how the game sounds and what the video looks like. We are here to make this a good experience for you all. Sounds a little bit low. Okie dokie. I can turn that up. One sec. Hopefully that's a little better. I'm 
know how that sounds. for this combo. Nope, mm, it's slow the ground. Dash is a go. Oh, but. makes sense i mean i'm mostly going to be speaking over the game for for the most part so the game is a little lower than, than i am it's a uh, it's worth doing Hello, fuck. Rip. Need to what? Can I get this link here? p.m. It's time to start the event. Let me make the lobby real fast. Uh, hold on, wait. There's an imposter. Can't believe this. It is time, though. I don't know if there's any other people going to be joining, but hello. I don't know who that is, but that's an imposter. Anyway. Welcome everybody to Skullgirls Get Great, the weekly Saturday advisory stream where we match you up with opponents of equal skill <laughs> and uh, try to give you tips and tricks on your play. Uh, today is going to be three flat matches. This is not like any standard tournament for just three flat matches. You play three matches and we'll give you advice on what to do next. So let's get these people up and in here. If you're uh, participating in today's event, please join the Discord and type in exclamation mark D-I-S-C-O-R-D in the Twitch chat. Hit up that link and go to the Skullgirls Get Great Only chat. And I'll get these lobby links in here. Because we got our first match of the beginners. Let's see here. So we got uh, Roar Shab versus Lin Gang up first. Please hit up I wanna be in a gang. <laughs> this lobby link if only. Yeah. Perhaps. I said perhaps. <laughs> versus, uh, was it Roar Shab? My wife says, uh, Lin Gang, if they could be part of your gang, because you're, you know, you're the thing. The Red Gillis is, it is not. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, we'll, we'll have the, we'll have you versus, uh, somebody else a little bit later, because right now it's beginners. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but please, when your turn. 
it is just me on commentary for today, it looks like. It yeah. is okay. Our kid was important too. Again, please do not join the lobby unless it is your turn next, which it is not. So. both of those people <laughs> all your, all your. I'm all there is of, the most real. of the most real it all depends on your skill let's rock you. let's rock Solo band, it is Lin Gang solo band, yes. Yes, I know pro yes, yes, indeed. But but if there is a hint, I have no idea what a hint that is. But for this first match, let's see how these these players perform. Swiggly Fuga was a very strong pairing. Can't confirm because you can do a lot of uh, mixing shenanigans with those two. Or Swiggly play M Shadow, I feel like is the right way to go because M Shadow gives you the uh, crazy schmicks that you would need. They know center stage in the SBO, yeah. Center stage in the SBO is pretty dang good. Nice punish on the horn crush, not bad. Okay. There's some combo things, but you know, it's a lot. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Give me a hit. M Shadow. Bit of a whiff on the A train, that's not bad. Uh, neutral is kind of one of the hardest things for for people to learn, uh, aside from like combos and getting those things into like, your, your fingies and stuff. Not bad. Full screen, full screen brass can be okay at, at causing full screen pressure, but um, well, no, you can't, you can't against Laz because I have matchups set up the way that they are. So, and your matches first and intermediates versus uh, who is it here? Versus Lumen. Band player, if you're a band player and using giant step at full screen, if, if it's a uh, Laz has the open lobby, I mean, you could, I guess, if Laz is okay for that. Uh, again, but we don't have uh, intermediates cross with uh, hey. beginners, so. Hey. Church singing to nothing? That'd be kind of rough. Turk Talks got promoted when well, you put yourself as intermediate, so I thought that's what I <laughs> put you there as, it seems like. Ba -ba -boosh. Yeah, yeah, H-Giant Step, you usually want to use to be able to call people who are who are not jumping, or uh, if they are jumping, you're using it to uh, be able to catch them on the way down. So H-Giant Step from full screen, not bad, but against Swiggly, who does uh, charge sing, and the SBO is pretty dang rough. And then sometimes Quigley just wants to sing like this. <laughs> so we're just singing. It's okay. It's a grab. If you want to be able to convert, uh, do a conversion from that grab, you'd have to sing in uh, uncharged sing in the SBO. Interesting. I mean, SSJ is very strong. Band skips ratios no matter who you are. That is... A full and dizzy combo, technically, yes. Um, normally, you don't want to spend the bar uh, unless you know that it's going to kill the opponent. Uh, unless for either specific reason that you want to save your characters because they're bleeding a lot. Or you want to be able to uh, DHCs, which is delayed hyper combo, um, into another character that you have in the team. Oh, Fireball. Seems like a, yeah, that's the basic shadowless. Uh, 
against people. No, it's it's not only against uh, like it's it's not only against like you know against a uh, specific character. It's usually versus players because it's it's um it's almost like a mental tool. Like you gotta use this. Like okay, you're down backing a lot, so I'm just gonna eat giant steppy. Respect the taunt. You never respect the taunt. If you have time to taunt, you have time to play. You respect the respect. Exactly. Hello. What up, GC? Yeah. By the way, that is my most favorite intro for, for Fuku, the Akuma intro. It's pretty heckin' cool. And please, no copy pasta this time. I mean, that really is just the, uh... So just usually just use those for the tournaments. But listen, everything's fine. <laughs> no? No, <laughs> Yeah. Not that I know of, Turtles. <laughs> Give me a hit. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be careful with the uh, with the brasses and the fake brasses. In fact, you can get super punished. Giant step. If you want to convert from that grab right there, because it's uh, about Ronsar distance, you use L giant step or M giant step. Show enough. Give me a hit. Rar. It's very, very passive. Like, uh, well, I mean, when you're when you're first learning out the, uh, when you're first learning the game and stuff, like, most people either go super hard on the buttons and stuff, or they play super passive because you know trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, just in the game normally, it's kind of hard. A band player with a peacock mindset. I guess so. Also, yes, this is beginners. So, for a character with no zoning tools, he's awfully defensive. Uh, well, yeah, uh, uh, a lot of characters in this game can play super defensive uh, and super baity, uh, especially like Big Ben, Swiggly, Pain Wheel. There was a, there was specific there was a specific uh, player way back when uh, when Skull Wars was pretty much more fresh. Um, there was one five nine man, and he played Swiggly like a turtle. And it was hard to, to open him up, even though he was just sat there down backing all the time. Just as a squiggly player. It was really hard to play against them. Uh, I don't know if they play anymore, but like... You can play defensively with anyone and everyone. By the way, if you don't... If there's ever a time you don't understand what I'm saying, and uh, I'm using like uh, abbreviations and stuff, there is the Twitch command called exclamation mark T-E-R-M-S, terms. It's a big old glossary of fighting game terms that you can go into and uh, figure out what I'm saying. <laughs> like DHC or OTG or, you know, uh, IAD, ADC, all that stuff. But uh, yeah. Well played. Uh, Rorschach, uh, it seems like you've got the basic shadowless combo down, so it's, which is not that bad. But, um, I would say give the, the good old wiki a good look. Uh, it's a nice... A, a big old repository for all all of the combos mechanics of of the game in general and then there's also the uh the old uh exclamation mark b and b compendium here from from the old forums and stuff uh, these are not all optimized combos uh, but they give you a good feel for what your character can do uh or can't do and that is cool so Thank you for playing. Let's move on to the next match here, which we've got Dax192, and now it's your turn to Berkelosh. So let's get these two guys in here and going. I'm having a disease on stream. Is that okay? <laughs> Don't catch it. <laughs> I guess. I guess so. <laughs> so let's see. You got maximum Dax moment here. Cool. And uh, Berkelosis is next. How do you join? Oh yeah, that's right. Your name is Bronchitis too. I forgot about I forgot about that. Here is the lobby link for Steam. It's right there. <laughs> well they've also they also go by Bronchitis and Twitch. 
interesting. There's lots of lung things. <laughs> Not, I hope, I hope they don't switch to COVID. That would be rough. Oh dear. Ain't nobody got time for that. You ready? Alrighty, so when you're ready, hit that ready up button. Let's get these matches going. Is it my turn? I don't know, people are gonna have to fight me if it's your turn. <laughs> Skull Gyaru versus Lung. Oh no. Oof. Yeah, I don't really got time for diseases right now. Let's do that. Oh, we're playing. Oh, I see. We're playing the uh, the Peacock Band. Interesting. Versus Maximum Maximum. Okay, got the standard uh, zoning pattern. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Playing a Robo. We're playing the Cats versus Peacock Band. Yeah, Peacock Band is usually uh, an annoying kind of team. Oh, was it the conversion? It wasn't a true conversion though, because they uh, they did not tech from OTG. They didn't, they didn't uh, tech when loose box were out this. Okay, okay, we're backing up, we're backing up. Interesting time to use the Argus. I guess a tip here, since we're here, is, is uh, if you're doing the uh, the item drop and stuff, you gotta you gotta make sure to uh, to look out for it because every item drop is in overhead, so you gotta watch your head. Look, we're trying to attempt the combo. Hmm. The other other one. The other other one. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no tech. That's unfortunate. Pop the ban, which is okay. It seems like we're not comfortable. Headless. Okay. Argus. Bonk, because they died. They died from the yeah. So there is a specific gap in Peacock's zoning, uh, also in Peacock's um, Argus super. Uh, after the initial beam, there is a couple frames before the all the tiny little lasers show up. Uh, as many of the characters, you could just super jump it to, to avoid most of the damage and stuff, and, and um, be able to contest with other buttons. Uh, and I think there might be a command for this. Let me see if it's like Special Mark P Cock. Maybe something like that. No, Special Mark P. No. Okay, but there's a command like that, and uh, that's like a thing for how to deal with it. Uh, let me see if I can find the thing. Learning how to get around the garbage. Uh, it was made by, I think it was made by Divas, and then there was another Peacock player who was, uh, was World Gem. Beamus. Beamus is definitely, definitely the way to deal with this matchup. Uh, it's, it's like uh, if you're in the high level play and it's a robo versus peacock robo almost has the advantage to deal with this garbage uh, with the beam moves and stuff if, you, if you're navigating it well enough <laughs> hashtag buff fiber you ready hp assist is pretty good interesting we do the argus don't agree watch your dome Remember, all the item drops are overheads, so you have to be standing to block any overhead. Interesting. I don't think we wanted to tag. Hmm, interesting. Oh, oh, oh. That HP, yeah. Interesting that we're trying to convert with... Yeah, yeah. You don't exactly convert grabs in... From grabs into a uh, DB with band like that, it's kind of hard. But like, uh, does anyone not like HP assist? I mean, HP assist is, is fairly nice. It's actually not bad because um, it's a full screen beam. Who doesn't want that? To be honest. Okay. Okay. HP is cool. That's true. HP was H, the 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 soft for Robo, is a decent assist to have if you want to deal with uh, with some pressure. Also, just one hit of armor, you know, it's not bad. 
HP though. It's not a mobile. This HP uh, built different. <laughs> I would say tuberculosis. They put themselves in uh, beginner, but I'm fairly certain they were intermediate. So I'll, I'll put them against a different person on the next time. Action! That's true, yeah. I mean, H-Fame really is just honestly built different um, as an assist, It's which is wild. For situations like this specifically, having age beam is like, it's heckin', it's like, the, this thing is invaluable. Um, like, you, you, can, you can say that, like, uh, having a pressure assist is really heckin' good, so like having solid is pretty nice, but age beam is just oof. You can do so much mix. Nice slow, it's just the conversion's rough. Okay, that's a cross up. Okay. I'd say for tuber for for tuberculosis here, so yeah, you have to be a little more consistent with your your zoning patterns. There, there's one that's slightly more consistent than what you what you're doing, but it's not bad. Oh, watch out for brass! Brass is a very large wall coming at you horizontally, so you have to be careful. He's very tall. But not bad, Max. I would say I would say to reference the Mizumi, uh, with the through the Twitch chat, just exclamation mark W I K I Wiki. Um, it's got some good old combos and references on what to do with your character, your characters. Um, I would also say if this is your if if you're a couple hours in into playing Skull Girls, it is better to go with a single character versus a duo, so you don't um, have mixed messages if you're playing one character versus another character in a team. Um, sticking with one character makes you more consistent with that character, and then consistent with the mechanics of the game overall. And usually, usually that way is better. And then once you feel more comfortable with them, you build upon that with another character, and then build upon that with another character, and that way you're playing duos and trios like that. Um, but yeah. Not bad. On to the next matchup. Let's have, was it Cal Wayne versus Redsman? So let's see here. You are Cal Wayne. Wayne. Gonna be here. Got Cal Wayne. They may not be in the Discord. They got Redsman. Redsman's definitely here though. Redsman versus at Cal Wayne. Into the, into the here. Let's see if I can find them. If you have Cal Wayne in your friends list, please give them a poke. Tell them that they're on stream. Uh, cooldown for assists. Uh, if you're using them frequently, it's about eight to nine seconds. If the if the assist gets hit, they're locked out for like eleven to ten, to eleven to twelve seconds. Well, uh, no, it might be a little, be a little wrong. Um, hit the assist. Yeah, something like that. It's like, call them. It's like two seconds. If they get hit, they're out like for like three, four seconds. It's like two, I don't know why. Probably mean in frames, not, not like seconds. Um, ba ba ba. Halloween. Boop. Let's see, I might have to poke them in the uh, get great chat. I'm phasing out the get great chat, so everything's taken care of in the Discord. Ultimately, because, oh. Cal, wait, maybe in here? Nope. All right, well. If they don't show up in the next two minutes, it'll be an open lobby, so anyone who is of beginner status can go ahead and play against Rudsman. It is an EU match, though, so if you're European, definitely would be better than if you were NA or Canada or anywhere, anywhere else. I'm just saying, you could, but you know, an EU match is preferable, so it's like a lot better. Canada is any. Listen. Listen. Canada is a whole different place. They're better than we are. <laughs> Rudsman and Lass. 
Didn't last South American? <laughs> Can it exist? Oh no. Tell me it doesn't exist. Are they not existing? Oh no, I'm sad now. I mean, it's like, you know. If you're close to the subsea cables, you should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Canada is not a real gun. Oh no. All right, this is now an open lobby. So if you are of the beginner persuasion, please get up and in here. He's going to Brazil. <laughs> okay. All right, so if you're of a beginner status, please get up and in here. Play against the Rudsman. Mm -mm. Anyone? Anyone takers? Beginner player? Please get up in here. Yep. Anyone? Is. Uh, if you want to make a link for the lobby, just you're in the lobby, hit Control C, and then Control V, and that's where you get that. I mean, we got somebody here. Cool. Albi, you versus NA might not be that bad, but we can see. We can see. And beginner, give it a try. If if the connection's not that great, it it all depends. Uh, if it's not that great, we might have. When I was coming in, but yeah, it's people. <gasps> Hold up. <Back> on up. <laughs> it is too late. No, someone else took the spot. Oh, we, have a, we have a match, okay. Oh, interesting. Philly a ban. Soul Bella. Soul Bella is a pretty dang good matchup. Okay, we got the patience, okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yep, merely a color sheep. Decent punish, not bad. End of the grub. Soul Ban is easily beginner. <laughs> Hmm. Calling the assist. Not bad for punish. Calling the assist? Okay. Definitely uh, having having uh, copter as an assist is pretty dang nice. Oh, tag out! You have to be careful about doing any, any tag outs like that. You have to make sure you might you have, that you're like at full screen or if there's a good reason for calling calling it uh, tagging out to your next character, you know. Most of the time you don't want to do that because, uh, you know, if, the, if your point is bleeding heavily and then you tag out to your character, right? Uh, it's a good chance that the uh, character you tagged out to will now be suddenly bleeding because you'll get punished for it. Him with a clap. And another tag out. Shove off. The raw tag. Not bad. It seems like you kind of know the combo. So, you, so when you're in the corner like that, you actually have to um, uh, cancel into Timpani Super in the air for you to be able to convert appropriately. Oh, we got hit. We weren't blocking. Careful about ending on heavy moves. If you end on heavy moves, 
um, you're liable to get punished. That was crossing. Oh, we'll take out again. Oh, got hit with a giant step. Unfortunate. Pararatag is okay. It's, it's, uh, eh. There's, yeah, there's a few tags you could get away with it. Like, uh, easily, Bellows Raw Tag you can get away with because, you know, that hits cross up whenever you're not paying attention. But it's definitely situational. It's not, it's actually not that difficult to punish, uh, uh, Parasol's Raw Tag. Bayo's Tag is mm, not exactly the best. Um, Especially from full screen, you can you can read it easily. Uh, it is much more difficult to uh, react to it if you're full screen and then you're tagging to Beowulf because then it's kind of instant at that point. But if, if you're like a ways away and then they decide to uh, tag out to Beowulf, it's not that hard to block. Can you convert off Beowulf's raw tag? Uh, yes, into super. Uh, I think you DHC. Yeah, like you, you kind of have to do arm. Uh, you do the tag, have to do arm, and, and, and then DHC. Uh, if you're in a team, anyway. Uh, if you're solo Beowulf, uh, and then you hit the tag into the corner, then yes. If it's into mid screen, then no. Good block, nice punish. Hold that. Well, if you're not, if, uh, this, this is. Uh, Considering if you have a team, if you're solo, you know, you can't, you can't tag us if you're solo. They, they have decent awareness of when, when it is your turn. It's very important in this game to know when it is, when it is your turn. Uh, and it's usually when the opponent uses an unsafe move that they have to recover from. Like that one. Like that one. <laughs> so that was definitely a punish. Played back. That's long. The grab. No conversion. A little too slow. That they have to hold block for. Oh, that's not a bunch. Oof. Am I the meanest? Nope, that's unfortunate. Off of the bikes, you can definitely confirm if you dash up light. Oh man. Oh, put the block that. Nice. Uh, depends on the grab. Um, you can certainly super cancel off of any of the A trains. Um, but definitely, definitely not normal grab. That's just it. Oh, uh, that's not, well, that's not exactly a cancel. You're just following up. Is it my turn when they stagger assist and pressure safely? Um, that all, yeah, that all, that all depends on the the string itself. Um, if they're doing it correctly, it is very difficult for it to, to not be your turn. Uh, but definitely, that's that's when you, uh, like Dunce is saying, you take into account push blocking, because um, push push blocking can certainly save save your ass in that case. I, I will say, Rudsman, uh, uh, it is it is better if you kind of stick with the character that you're that you're playing. Uh, uh, certainly, changing teams is okay, but um, if you want consistent advice uh, on the character that you got going on, I can certainly you know it's, be it's kind of better that way. That hit cross up by the way because <laughs> they woke up kind of in a bad time. It can double raw tag 
hitting cross up is rough. It's all in mine. Uh, PBGC is an anti-block string tool. Uh, uh, it's less of an anti-block string tool as it is more like a get me out of here button. And certainly, yes, uh, for for both of these for both of these people, definitely uh, check out the B and B compendium. They are not the most optimal combos, but they give give you the most comfortability with the characters that you're playing. Um, and it's just good to have burn something into your muscle memory to, uh, you know, have something consistent. All depends on the block string. Yes, it does. This man's taunted. I'm not sure that it was on purpose. <laughs> Get this. Jab, jab, grab. Sorry, sorry. And the tag. Giant step. Also, the, the the thing to look out for is is if, um, if you're noticing when when you're when you're fallen from getting hit. Um, if you see blue sparks, that means you can auto tech, which means you can tech immediately by holding a direction and pressing a button. Uh, it's usually either left or right, or just just kind of holding neutral. That's a taunt that I'm not sure it was on purpose either. <laughs> um, if you see a purple spark, that means you have to wait after the purple spark to be able to tech. Uh, if you see the green spark, which happened a couple times in this match, um, you're able to tech after a few frames. There are a lot of taunts. They're just kind of pressing buttons, uh, and usually when you're pressing buttons, yeah, taunt just kind of happens. Especially with, with um, other char some characters versus others. Like, big bands you can certainly get if you're pressing it in a correct sequence. Certainly for valentines, certainly for doubles. That's kind of how that is. But definitely for the both of you, check out the the Skullgirls Mizumi uh, and definitely the B&B Compendium because those will help you out best. So let's go on to the next matchup. Thank you for participating. We got Laz the Dude. But my, my Laz the Dude has to get up in here. Totally unprepared. That is okay. Not a big deal. It's all good. Right, hit him with a clap. I'm a boy herd back there. <laughs> yes, he's pl they're playing. They're currently playing Mario Kart, uh, which I'm I'm kind of jealous of, to be honest. You know, Mario Kart's pretty dang good. Um, so like I said, is that my boy in the background? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why are you being called to play Mario Kart with uh with uh, the kiddo and the wife? A Mario Kart stream? Uh, I don't have the means to actually project my Switch onto a computer to be able to record that, but yeah. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Skull World Switch get great if I could do that, yeah. Uh, I just wish it was patched so it would work correctly, if anything. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Live with Mario Kart 8? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Um, but let's get our next matchup. So where's where's my dude Laz the dude? So we got Laz the dude. We're up on stream. If there's anybody else who's a beginner, because this is an open lobby, get back up in here and play the video game. Whoa. Yeah, at Laz the dude. I would say, I would say your solo band counts. Let's see. MK while I'm watching those matches. If only. I don't think I can multitask that. <laughs> Good. Let's see. But, but maybe they're in the get great group, which I will check. Again, I'm phasing out the um the get great chat. I'm also I'm only just using it for notifications and stuff. Um so people can just hit up the Discord and get up in here. Yes. Yeah, last. They're not even in the get great chat, so that's okay. Um, and if they're not here, we're just gonna move on to intermediates. So I'm gonna wait two minutes, wait until 4:39 EST time to see if they show up or not. And if not, we're just gonna move on. And I'm sorry, Swagger. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Oh no! <laughs> Almost all man get it right. We could still have a beginner. <laughs> well, I guess if people gets up in here, you can fight Swagger, and then we'll call that a match, and then move on here immediately. <laughs> You could certainly rejoin, but since last the dude doesn't seem to be here, um, we'll just do this, <laughs> and this is fine. <laughs> so hit that up real quick. I'm I'm, uh, I'm hit the BRB button, so I will I will be right back. <laughs> And we're back. I'm sorry. Oof, had, had to uh, <coughs> hit that uh, bathroom button real quick. <clears throat> oh, we're playing. We're playing Soul Fuku. That's a. It's actually a pretty good team, to be honest. <laughs> so I can certainly once to get the parries up in there. Parries are happening. Oh, oh, oh. I'm excited. There's a grab. Nice. No conversion. Rip. Oh, nice tech. Nice. Good parries. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Is this, this is Swagger McYellow. Yes. This is Swagger McYellow. <laughs> well, no. He's been around for, for quite some time. But, but, oh, no. We already used that button. No. Still solo bang. <laughs> it does not look like a change on. Oh, oh. That's a birthday. No, Swagger, you need to do that. We don't know the mid screen. <clears throat> Forward down a couple frames before. Yeah. Oh no. We're just. What is this madness? Yes. I don't remember. Not sure. Carlos does have a birthday though. I can't parry. Oh no. <laughs> that was bad toxic. It's actually not toxic. Um, that is actually a decent strategy for Fuqua. Tossing out the fireballs is actually not that bad. Because Fuqua was just a battery. Uh, and her tossing out fireballs gives her more meter. So using fireballs in neutral like that is actually not a bad idea. It's also because the chip damage on fireballs is 990 damage. On block. Just take that in. 990 damage. On block. That's like 5% of your health. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can do it, Swagger. Hit the push block button. Oh, nice grab, actually. That was a good idea. Yeah. Ba 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 boosh! Oh man. The big band person. Nice grab. Good conversion. Another one. Oh man. <laughs> An overhead. <laughs> nice grab tech. What? Oh no. We didn't parry. Fine, I'll let you recover. Oh. I was almost punished. Oh. 
Oh man, the trades, wild. Nice, nice, nice. We're just kind of, just kind of mongoing with, with Fuqua. <laughs> nice. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is my first fighting game. How do I learn? Uh, definitely, for well, I would say the first step is to certainly play the tutorial. The tutorial in this game is one of the better ones that I've seen in most fighting games. Um, and it tells you literally everything that the game is going to do. Don't grab the copy pasta. Don't grab the copy pasta. You don't know what happened. You might get oofed. <laughs> Definitely do the tutorial though. The tutorial is important. It tells you literally everything about the game. I would also say do it twice. There might be something you missed on the first go around. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. It, it's useful to go back to it because there might be something you missed the first time around, the second time around sometimes. You never know. Is there a way to reset the, tor the tutorial? I don't know of a way to do that. If there was a way, I, I would certainly tell you, but I don't think there is a way besides just replaying everything from the beginning. So you just kind of have to just go back through it. I just go online and get thrashed. Well, there there are just ways to be able to play the game, certainly. Like I did the tutorial um, when I first started playing, and then like after a little bit of just messing around in the lab to see, because uh, my first character was Fuqua, seeing how Fuqua plays a little bit and then just coming up with some stuff. I went online for the first time, I got trashed. But you know, some people throw their faces at the wall to get better and some people just, you know, do other things. For me, I just threw my face at the wall a lot. Okay, 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 we're playing, playing the Robo. <laughs> I'm not sure why Maximum Daximum's in here, but, um. Yeah, <laughs> there should have been three matches. <laughs> Canonical form. Oh, you hit both characters. Not bad. Your spot was stolen. Wow. Well, it has to certainly has to be three, because uh, then we gotta move on to intermediates. Oof. People, if you want to be able to convert that, it's just it's just stand hard punch right into the the sniper. You know, you don't need to do the uh, the tier. Wow. Gotcha. Do we know the conversion? We don't know know the conversion for Fuqua after the uh, good old tender embrace. Rough. Oh man. Drill. Definitely got drilled. <laughs> Tag out into the parasol from the other side. That's weird the way that happened. Huh. Oh man. Hmm. Looks like we if we sort of understand fortune buttons, but not exactly. not get cornered if push block doesn't work um it all depends on the string it's it's kind of like a uh, that's kind of a, a wide and broad topic um but if if you're cornered um think th think about how the options that your character has can contest certain block strings so like We'll take Philly as an example. Philly in the corner, if you are cornered, you've got up do as a reversal. You've certainly got um, up forward, forward if you just push block. Um, all depends. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you're, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. So, we're moving on to the immediate. So, this is where the like, advice gets a little bit more advanced um, and matches kind of. Keep going. Uh, so we got Infernal Baby versus Lumen. So Lumen, if you're in here, please do the thing. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, so we're we're up in the intermediate now. So we got Infernal Baby versus Lumen. So let's see if Lumen. It's not there. Let's see if Lumen's over here. Oh, there they are. They found their way. 
Fantastic. So let's get these matches going. Flat three, everybody. Remember, today is flat three. Uh, you need to, uh, I, I'd say preliminarily, you need to relearn your combos, people. <laughs> That's pretty much it, because I'm fairly certain you understand the, the systems of the game, so... I, I think you just need to relearn your combos. Let me play the trio. It's interesting, interesting we got Bella Mid and Band at the back. The shells right now, oh my god. The squealy is different. Just the point is different, oh my god. 3v3. Nice. Combo. Oh, gotta be careful. Also, be careful about using Silver Quarter on block. Because it is, in fact, not safe. Getting punished just right at, right at the cut. That's a cross-up in the corner. Man. Give me a hit. Give me a hit. Punishing the assist is a good idea. Because they will be further locked out for, for a couple more seconds. than they usually are. Google Mix. It's not bad. Well, you almost had it, though. Well, at that point, it's not exactly a good idea to call ban from that distance because, you know, at that point, they're just, they're just gonna kill ban. That is a not true block string. Good patience. We have the SPO. The wrong SPO, I would argue. Um, using the one closer to the ground would have made it more difficult for Fuqua to contest afterwards. Oh, San Hargax to hit both the point and the assist. Tag out, no punish. I'm surprised. That is very punishable. Ban's tag is not safe. We hit the assist. Cross under, hard to deal with. With all, all the characters, in fact. Okay. We tag out to Bella. That's not safe. That was M, uh, M lock and mode. Not safe at all. You can punish that. How does Fuqua fit all of Ban in her all of Band in her hair? Um, you know, it's it's all it's kind of asking almost asking Philia, how does Samson fit all of the characters in their in their hair? You know, it just kinda happens. It's there's just a super narrow true parasite. Magically supernatural. Yes. Birthday would have happened if Ban wasn't so big. That was not true where to use that button. But, uh, nope, you already used OTG because uh, you bonked into the floor with Sand Hard Kick in the string earlier. There are 99 seconds in Skull Rolls, they, but they are Skull Seconds, which is hard, not true, true actual time. It's like an extra second and a half or something like that. Yes, 99 seconds equates to three minutes, but a not true three minutes. <laughs> Yes, one timer on the second is not even a second. Yeah, yeah, it's more. It's extended by like a second and a half or something like that. I, well, Mike certainly wanted this game to be some like Marvel 2. But you know. That was his wish, and it's kind of how that things how things went. Nice. Bop the band. We're going solo band. Again, if you'd like more consistent advice, please stick to the characters that you are playing. Otherwise it makes it a little more difficult for us uh, on stream to be able to, you know, say what's what. Oh man, we hit, <laughs> both bands just hit, when Zanny, good idea, now Zanny, if only. Hit with the low, but no continuation, weird. BFF in neutral like that is not great, it is a pseudo reversal, meaning it's not true, it's not just not a real reversal. Um, it's something you could do if you're in pressure, but like you'll, you're liable to get heavily punished if if it's not timed correctly. Oh, ba 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 boosh! Because we're in the armor, level three for the damage. 
can't convert exactly, but you can certainly l brass them. Brassing from full screen, Oliver, please no. Oliver. Oh, that was punished, but we used sound sun. That was not true because they did not tech. If you are solo in Skullgirls, you can snap out the opponent to be able to recover your red health, but since we're spending all the meter on memes, we don't have that opportunity. Oh, we were pressing a button and we got hit. That's unfortunate. With the law with her prison buttons. Oof. Nice. She makes in the corner using MGR, yeah. Definitely convertible. Uh, MGR in the corner is actually more effective against Ban than any other character in the game because of how big Band is, so the hitbox hits them almost always. So this right here, not that great to be spending the bar because we're not killing the character. Uh, we're just, and we're not exactly doing that much damage because it's solo. Um, it makes more sense for the solo be to be ending combos to meter because they do way more damage versus the trio. Certainly, what's a reset? Resets in this game are super important because they lead to higher damage. CHP for band is a decent button if you're spacing out correctly. And again, we've... So, this is also something notable uh, since we're in this situation right now. If you're doing uh, H giant step... Um, you want to be using Brass to be able to punish or, or um, um, pick up off of the OTG like that. Um, just then it does, you know, you're doing decent damage for there. But you, of course, you'd return immediately to neutral. Um, when are you supposed to spend your bar versus solo then? You mostly want to spend the bar versus solo to either DHC out because the character's bleeding or you want to, someone else on point uh, or to kill. Uh, Cause you gotta, you gotta think of you gotta think of um, bar like that uh, as a precious resource. So versus the solo, kind of eh. You need it, you'll need it for certain situations. Uh, so spending it outright and leaving yourself meter negative is not great. Alright, that was three. Not bad, y'all. Or to snap, definitely to snap as well, because you you don't want them to have their red health uh, to be regenerating back. Not bad, y'all. All right, so up next we have ourselves uh, Ruby Fifty and Cry Havoc. So let's get ourselves Ruby versus Cry Havoc. Your stabbing, so yes. Yeah. I've been playing EU tourneys, but I did play against your football previous week. Knew what to expect. Oh, okay. So cry. What even is Ruby's profile picture? I wonder. Ah, oh, my favorite intro. Cry playing Soul Fugu. Got 
bopped. No pickup. That's unfortunate. Nice, nice. That hit. I can't believe that hit this the, the toesies of a Valentine there. Nope, we're pressing buttons. Not respecting the uh, Big Bang beat extend. Nice, that was good. That was a lane cancel punish. Nicely done. Nope, major surgery. Future reference. You can use BFF to be able to, uh, you know, uh, counter super. But you could also have done a uh, counter uh, H drill for Fukuo. Because that's 19 frames of invincibility. Oh, we got bopped by the bypass. Gotta be careful. Gotta, gotta be aware. No conversion, though, unfortunately. I would say to, for Ruby to take notes of when you're calling your beat extend assist, because depending on the distance, you know, uh, you, you might be leaving band open to getting bopped really hard. Uh, for Cry, though, we need a snap to get our health back, though. There's a drill. We killed Valentine. You know, the assist was called out, but we're now dead. Unfortunate. Remember that you can snap to get your health back. 33% against the point. 66% health with the assist, on, unless that's been changed. <gasps> it's a bit. It a bit. My glove. It's my favorite stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Interesting, an aggressive round start. <gasps> People, thanks, appreciate it. Hmm. Mm, cry, I would say trying to toss out H Shadow in neutral like that is actually not worth it because it doesn't reach as far as M Shadow does or as L Shadow does. And, and doing fireballs, um, if you're going to up forward and do a fireball, you're actually leaving yourself more open to getting hit really hard versus if you're up backing and fireballing because you want to be able to, you know, make the space to keep yourself sort of safe rather than, you know, just, you know, you're, you're like up forwarding and pressing a fireball just like you're telling them to hit me. <laughs> so I understand you want to be able to get in the face, but uh, of the times that you've tried, you've mostly gotten hit. So there, there's there's a good section of neutral where you need to be able to uh, leave enough room to re respect your opponent, but also try to catch them. Dead. I think we gotta spend the other bar because my pets is not doing enough. And the music on this on this second stage is awesome. Love the music of Nightmare Crest. Can anyone stop this fighting machine? It reminds you of Link to the Bass music. I think the Bass music is pretty good. Yeah. If you're doing the, uh, was it the other overworld? And of course, Maple Crest. H fireball. Mm, all around starts not bad, actually. Oh man, hit with the beat extent. Oh, the foggy area. Ah, I know the uh, what you call it. This creepy, creepy forest. Hmm. Air to airing with JHP is actually not as consistent as if you were airing with like. Uh, JLP, because, you know, that's always good. You mostly use JHP for, like, on the way down, as it is for, um, doing an air air mid-screen. You mostly do that. Um, if, if you're trying to contest your opponent's incoming with Fuqua, um, certainly doing JMP is a lot better than doing JHP, because, you know, single big hit. Um, so you want to be able to catch buttons in the air. <coughs> Yeah. 
weird. Phoenixon has too much range. Uh, it, yeah, it's really large. So, sort of, uh, kind of a, a matchup thing for Ruby. Um, if you see the upon the opposing Fuqua doing uh, H drill on their block string, it is actually very unsafe. So you could just hold that and then just punish them. You just have to hit them with the with the light. Or now I'm just pressing buttons. Level three, they're dead. I'm not sure that that was on purpose though. Yeah, yeah. Um, they right now they're very much focused on trying to get in into the opponent's face, um, but it's it's something that comes with time, you know, uh, and learning how to be patient. Um, Fuqua's uh, Fuqua's game plan can certainly be to, you know to annoy the opponent with fireballs and shadows and stuff, to bait them into making a mistake and then you know capitalizing. Uh, but you could also just be a rush down Fuku and try to get in their face. Like like that with Cry Havoc. But you also have to try to be safe while doing it. And that's a hard thing to do. Thank you both for playing, Purushidia. Depends on the command grab. If you're doing the the oh oh the tender embrace. That is tender embrace, you do the two three six plus grab, and that's your, your command grab. Uh, you have to convert that command grab with your BFF super. Yep, gotta use BFF for that one. Um, so let's see who we have next. We have Turkdos versus Monu. So let's get those two in here. Turkdos versus at Monu. I forgot about it. Understandable. It's okay. <clears throat> so let's see. I will DM Monu. Okay. They're pinging me. Type a message. Oh, poop. Oh, they wanted to be dropped. Whoops. I forgot. I know, yeah, it says I'm on Wi-Fi, but I'm actually wired. I have a wireless card on top of this Wi-Fi. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. So this will be an open lobby for any other intermediate who wants to get up in here. <laughs> um, yeah. Woo! Money back in the chat, yes. Any tips on how to easily rotate the analog stick? Um, it is, I don't know that, that I mean, yes, you use your thumb to, to do the thing. You mostly have to, uh, because, you know, analog stick has infinite directions. So uh, if you want to practice doing it, you just kind of have to do it in the lab and just, you know. And use your thumb. Use your thumb, figure out what it, what, how it feels, what it's like. Because uh, I play on D-pad. And, uh, as a pad player, and a, uh, but I also have a hitbox, so, you know. Use, use your pingers? Not your pingers. Oof. Yeah. Uh, analog stick has infinite directions, so you, you kind of just have to memorize what that's like. Just in general. Oh, man. Aggressive start. Turk toss. The Philly. I like it. And Pico with the parasol. Solos. To play with stick on a gamepad, you should see the mods that people do. Yeah. Oh man. Nice low. Oh, oh, oh. Report. As you can see here, we have two women trying to mediate a dispute. <laughs> Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nice. Kind of rough because Philia can be a super fast character. Except she can schmix you. 
pretty dang hard. Imagine having a level 1 360. Mmm, Bella, yes, of course. Oh, the girls are fighting? Oh! <laughs> I thought they were gonna hug it out. Is this a fighting game? If you're, if you're not sure, <laughs> my wife is in fact making it really hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's, and my wife is memeing very hard. I thought it was a dating sim. Shit, same. Heck, you're right. I was trying to decide which one I wanted to date. Thank you for the oh. follow. You're right. Through fighting, you both work out your issues and, in fact, start the dating sim. I thought it was a dating sim. What have you been playing all this time? Oh, Gregor. Is this why I admit that I've, I, I didn't know I was memeing? I was yes. just trying to be funny. I'm throwing that out there. Is that a meme that's going around? <laughs> okay. Even the sun is a star. Right. Nice slow. That was a good PUGC cancel. Wow. See, it isn't that the girls are dating the other girls. The girls are dating their parasites. That'd be terrifying. Listen, we didn't say How, like, how does Philia date Samson? Oh, did we lose Picone? Oh no. It was me, I'm sorry. Not the heck? No? That doesn't sound like Picone. Did we lose Picone? You could've, you could've kept on going, but it's three flat matches. No, it's not just one. <laughs> it's three. Come back, come back! Three flat matches forever! <laughs> you gotta get in here fast, though. First come, first serve. Do, do. Do, do. Oh, oh. It is never just the one. It is always either three or five. That gives you a chance to, like, you know, reset your brain and try again. I once went like one to two my first time in Get Great. Um, I was fighting against a real robot. I did win one match and then I never won a match again. And now oh. a real robot is much better than beginner bracket. I just use a regular controller is D-pad just better than trying to use an, the analog stick. I'm pretty new to fighting games, so I'm just using what feels natural, I guess. That is understandable. I would recommend using the D-pad because it gives your inputs, uh, makes your inputs a lot more cleaner. It makes your inputs crisp. I'm sorry, I like the word crisp. It crisp is pretty good, clean. actually. <laughs> But if the stick feels more natural to you, you can try to try it out. The only problem with stick is because it's not gated. It has infinite directions, so you have to make sure that you try to be as consistent as possible with the animal stick. Nice. Got the combo. Oh, no conversion. Take right. two. Oh, no. Take three. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a mod you could do to be able to gate the animal at six so you hit the directions. Which one of the takes is the hot take? Which one? I just what? I need to know for the dating sim. Which one is the what? We had take one, take two, take three. Which of the takes is the hot take? <laughs> Which take is the hot take? Uh, the one where you draw. That's the hot take. Okay. <laughs> Song is the best in the game. That is a very hot take. I disagree wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Yo, bath of segment. Mm. That's true. Bath of segment, pretty good. Red stage more than than the uh, blue stage. I'd say. Tough nut versus the other one. But red is worse than blue. Blue is always better. The music of red is better, though. Listen, this is the color commentary. This is important. 
the drama. <laughs> <laughs> Climax Listen, tension. The marital tension. <laughs> Red's better. You must be wow. wrong. Oh no. Red is color better than blue? I disagree. <laughs> No, blue is much better. Let's two guess one. Nice package card. Blue is sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The tension. About to throw down. Don't do it. <laughs> do I have to cheerlead for that then? Full and dizzy combo. Not bad. I mean, JP can take care of themselves. So I'm really just going to cheer from the shine li side lines. The side lines. Yeah, there you go. Oh, dear. <laughs> On stream. <laughs> Not right now. Certainly, we're still in the get grade. <laughs> Gotta make sure we get through all these matches before that happens. Showtime. Hit him with it. Fireball. Uh, fireball. Hairball is a decent decision. I would say if you want to be able to keep up the pressure, M ball's a lot better than the other balls. Can say. Giggity. Wrong game. Final destination. Listen, we're not playing Smash. We could play Smash. I mean, we've got on the Switch. That's true. Depends on the final destination. Do we mean FD on melee? On melee. Oof. Hold on. Smash get great. Listen, <laughs> I'm not that qualified for that. Like, How about Smash get worse? And like, we <laughs> play Smash for people and they all get worse at the game. I suppose that would be true. Gregor, good pickup. That's pretty good. Oh, conversion? Nice. Uh, but the uh, the blast from the tier stopped them from being able to convert. That's rough. Good pickup, though, from Turktoss. Nicely done. Thank y'all. Well played. Uh, Turktoss, I would say work on your movement for Philly a little bit more. Uh, and Pico, you need to, you need to um, work on your block strains to make them a little more safe. Because um, a lot of them are escapable, it seems like. Boom! Let's do... What we really need to stream mm -hmm. is uh, yep. Soul Calibur 6, because then Soul people six. will see that I can sometimes beat you in a game. Yes. She's pretty good, Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. I need that 3D movement. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. We'll, we'll practice Soul Calibur 6 and then move on to Tekken. No, if we practice Soul Calibur 6, <laughs> you'll get better than me. <laughs> <laughs> and then where will I be? Listen, we're just sparring, so we'll both get better at the same time. No, we won't. Yes, we will. You'll learn a combo. Listen, things will be fine. <laughs> Everything. Anyway, this isn't the Tekken screen. That's true. It's so, not the Tekken screen. Right, right. <laughs> so let's get Pico back in here versus Thok. Do the thing. We have ba -ba -ba, and get great chat. Fuck versus. Can I have a lobby link? Become sure thing. And ha bam. Oh, I was gonna do that. Jetsu, it's not your turn yet. <laughs> yep. Become and again, it's your turn. Getting all the matchup experience right now. Oh man, J2 trying to play the field. No oh, man. Something going on? My our our child is playing Minecraft and somehow this involves a lot of screaming. I mean I mean with her cousin. Yeah, yeah. They do scream a lot. Well, that is a band. Oh, that was a, a DP was actually a good idea. The round start, we just didn't convert, which is unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. But it means they abandoned my mine, my Mario Kart game with them. They did do that. Yeah, uh, I, was I was kind was of abandoned. saddened by that, to be honest. They just kind of walked away from it really hard. Our kiddo plays all girls. Our kiddo mains Robo. Um, they could use some more practice. Yeah. They could use some practice. Um, they they saw my hitbox and it was like, can I have one like that? So like I'm making considerations to build them one that's tiny enough for the fingers. 
But their fingers are soon going to be bigger than yours. Just Yeah. They would have to be as small as these right here. Those 24 right. millimeter ones. But he's got my giant hands and he's going to be over 6 foot tall. Yeah. I mean, he could grow up with it, to be honest. That's true. <laughs> grow up with his very own fighting box. <laughs> Unfortunately, we stuck him in the corner, and Peacon got decimated rough. Uh, Oliver wants to play Robo Annie Squiggly. Yes. It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> I mostly mean the color. And the blender was pretty rough, yeah. Um, and learning how to get out of the, the schmix is uh, mostly one that comes with time. But we can uh, give you tips on uh, working out those 50-50s as we see them. Uh, it's like, honestly, it's just guessing in the game. <laughs> I play so much solo, any? Yeah, I, I intend on breaking the character when they, when they release. That was a good round start doing with JLK contesting in the air. Nice pickup off the tier. Nice low. Oh no, we did not want the forward button. That was definitely not what we wanted on the block. Nice overhead. We actually weren't blocking. I mean, that was not an overhead. Oliver, why are you screaming? Our child is screaming really hard. Good pillar. Calling them out on the ground. Oh, we didn't block. Oliver, why are you screaming? I can't believe that contested the JMK in the air, just doing back hard kick like that. They were being scary. That is nice grab. That is a watermelon one. Yes, I think so. I like the skin tone, but I don't like the melon with it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Give me it. Every other grab, nice low, push block. You didn't actually have to push block that. You could have just been patient and hit a light button. Nice low, A train, dead. Someone get killed by a creeper. Potentially. No, no, he says that his cousin was being creepy. So okay. I don't know. Is it? A, yeah. I don't know. Any supposed to come this or next month, otherwise they lie to us and she's not coming early 2021. I mean, early 2021, would, I would assume, would be in the first three months of the year, so... Yep, so sometime by the end of next month, they're yeah. also doomed. She should come out on your birthday! That would be cool, but I don't expect that to happen anytime soon. February 28th. <laughs> she comes on the leap day, which doesn't happen this year. That would be funny. That would be funny. Yeah, the kittles, you know. Well, no tech on the first bounce, blue bounce right there. Nice grab to put grab punish. Okay. Overhead, overhead. Oh, nice catch on the parasol of JHK there. I'm still not What's used to the Eliza color. That's right. Oh, we canceled a little too early, uh, but L Spiral is in fact a minus two, so it's hard to contest. Nice grab mix. <laughs> yeah. Still has seven days before early 2021 ends. What do you mean March hasn't started yet? The <laughs> ah, is down, unfortunate. A train. We spend the level three, which I honestly disagree. That's a lot of meter that you spent to not kill a character. So we should get our health back, to be honest. But I guess not. Bam, bam, bam. And now we're stuck in the mid. The schmix. I'm gonna go in the to corner. Oliver to stop screaming. Okay. Nice grab. Wasn't really a schmix because Ban's too big. Man. Not once did we consider getting our health back, and that almost cost them the match. Oh man. I just told Oliver I would turn off the internet if he didn't stop screaming. <laughs> he just said okay. He didn't say, Mom, how would you turn off the internet? Nope. Okay, That's fine. He believes. He would believe it more from you than for me. <laughs> That's for sure. That's because I'm meaner. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't... <laughs> thing happened yesterday. I'm not sure. Uh, so now we have Protodot versus Jaitsu. People, what are you doing here? People, what are you doing here? 
Hey, Bo. What are you doing? <laughs> I've come to say. <laughs> Jakey smells. <laughs> I'm not going to go Wah. sniff and check for you. <laughs> can't believe this. Look at fun. Oh, man. Here. Horizontal we go. privilege. Yep. Yep. Oh, my God. Apparently, that one little bit got me to 5k bits. No, wow. Nice. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> you've, you've done a lot of bits. You've 10 bits right now. My mom just called me bits. This battle is yeah. all in the mind. Yeah. Yeah. Not the best nickname. Ah. Oh, the robo in the mid for the uh, lazy bean. I like it, I like it. Nice bale of patience. I dig this. Oh, that's a connection. Uh oh. You definitely do not push block the fireball. It is minus. It's four on block that close. But still, it's like safeish pressure. Hell yeah. If they're gonna fireball uh, on block. Oh, but that was a birthday. You didn't achieve the combo. Rip. If you see the, the other character uh, is on screen and then s suddenly start getting hit, yeah, you gotta recognize that there's birthday potential. So that's when you go into your corner combo carry mode. Yeah, that's weird. weird. Why is that an overhead, by the way? Oh, uh, Beowulf's uh, like in JLP. Uh, that's because his air button is JLP, so when he hops, he's kind of in the air. Uh, and that's why you can press those air buttons. 5k bits batch! There it is, I actually showed up that time. Yeah, his hop technically makes it that he's up in the air. How was a lot of meter spent? You actually didn't need the meter? If you let the, uh, the heckin' the charged DP? through you didn't need to spend the bar it's especially important to swiggly because she does not gain meter as easily as the rest of the cast i will say though doing the silver cord against the uh the timpani on incoming was actually a smart at that smart idea also jade sue is using my squiggly color <laughs> oh man how can ban it do a low everything of his is over <laughs> It's rough. He was in the was in the corner. Got the pressure. It's it's because they picked the right colors. I mean, that's the correct squiggly color. I mean, yeah, the, the zone tan. Oof. <laughs> 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 oh heck. My only annoyance is I can get that color for Squiggly, and I can get that color for Pain Wheel, but I can't get that color for Eliza. So trying to decide what Eliza to play with them is, is more difficult. Yeah, Grave Soul is not bad. Ooh, no, that Fuqua color is awful. There's pink in it. That's the color I would run after the uh, <laughs> after I had like 500 hours in the game. You played the awful color? I played that color. Also because it was very neon. Yeah. And it matched with the Beowulf color that I had. It was also I'm very Sorry, neon. we have to get divorced. I understand. The only SS tier color in this game was JoJo reference? No, it, it, it definitely isn't. JoJo's just expected because, you know, JoJo. But it's love, more like you and I tier. haven't ever watched JoJo. Yeah, yeah. I only know of the memes because the internet. Earthworm Jim? Uh, I'm kind of upset with the way that they handled it, personally. I would have preferred it something completely different. And this is rough for, for Big Man, because, you know, almost every matchup in his favor, because of, lo uh, because of his height alone, is like 6 forward. Nice A-Train. Thank you for not spending the bar. Hard knockdown is in fact a thing to, you know, take into consideration because, you know, you have Oki at that point. Yeah, you can't exactly see the bar, it's kind of weird. Overhead. 
Remember, as Big Band, you also have symbols to cover your, you know, your aerial approach. Certainly like that. Don't spend the bar. Uh, we spend the bar. It's very expensive. And you got grabbed. Rip. I, I think they Leviathan. figured that Leviathan is wormy. Yeah, I, I guess. Green Fuqua is best Fuqua. I just need to say that. <laughs> oh, I he still hear screaming. Hold on. Oh, man. We're gonna have to turn off the internet? Oh, poop. Oh, my. It was an accident. I find it weird that the violence are from Jim. Uh, I would say base color Fuqua is really good just uh, by yourself. Like, I, I wouldn't care if there was an, any other palette. Oh man, I would say for J2 though, um, get that Shadowless B and B down because uh, this this current combo, while you know decent, uh, you want something that does a little more damage and a little more consistent because you know if you try to do that on off OTG you're liable to whiff. The Oki incoming is actually not that bad. <laughs> Talk about colors. No colors are important. <laughs> Nice. All we try for the uh, try for the command grab, which is not a good idea. The armored grab for Fuku, because you know you could sweep that, uh, but it's it's also you know like 50 frames and unreactable to to some people. That's fair for the chip damage, but walking forward and grabbing maybe not as aggressive as you should have been. You could have done more options like trying to go for the overhead, like a uh, jail JLP the uh, L dive. Uh, sing into the bar? You could have just stayed in the corner and just spent the bar instead of walking backwards. Hit him with the, uh, symbols, but no conversion, unfortunately. As overhead. Here's the law. Pick him up. Swiggly's weird, because she's light. And weird hitboxy. Symbol flash. What do you think at what level should players be learning more complex mix-ups, the cross-ups? Yeah, that that almost happens kind of like in the bridge between like uh, intermediate and like upper and into advanced. It's, at that point you just gain a good understanding of your characters and people you've played before and the options that the opponent might potentially have. Um, at that point you probably should have like more mix-ups than you, you normally would. Can we have a Skullgirls get stylish? A Skullgirls get stylish? That'd be like an interesting thing. Infernal to have. Baby suggests it because we're talking too much about colors, which is my <laughs> fault. We're the stream. Step one, teach me how to play so that I can say different things. <laughs> yeah. Peepo, you and I can run it. It'll be great. <laughs> of course. I mean, or it'll get great one way or the other. I don't know what might be. Uh, for you, Proto, I think you just need to approach more. Like, your patience is good. That's a good idea. Um, and using the, uh, what's it called, H-beam in neutral like that is actually also very good to pressure your opponent from far away. But, like, as Beowulf, you can be absolutely aggressive because, you know, you got hops for days. You have safe jumps. You've got, you've got options to be able to, like, fake out the opponent pretty hard. So, like, doing JHP upon JHP is, you know, not that bad follow airs yes so like if you're doing like blitzer in the air you can follow that up easily with h beam and and you know big ben there to just threaten any airs and stuff like certainly use your your assists to your advantage to to threaten the space in front of you every time i approach well it depends on the approach uh i wouldn't say every time that you've approached you've gotten hit that's for sure um but it's like it depends on the approach that you have. It's like if you're throwing out a button and calling it assist, it's more than likely that you won't get hit because the opponent has to respect that. Who cares about being up to one trying to look cool? Totally understand. <laughs> oh my god.
Okay, so we got your level dunce versus Tank. Tank one. I'm still waiting for the sequel. Oh my goodness, that is loudest Philia. Yeah, it's a very orange Philia. Uh, Fuqua. Fuqua. Um, I'm great with my clones. Listen, I do it too. After playing this game for six years, I, I understand. Spend the bar, because that'll kill the Fuqua. Yes. What's the point of laving out two touches if I can't get the first touch? Um. So this is why you can also lab out certain situations on round start, a lot of situations in the corner and stuff. Uh, you can figure out a way to get in on your opponent in the way that they won't expect. Especially with Beowulf, who has like hella fast overheads than, than he should have. Um, like round start, round start LPs, hop LP is like ridiculous. Round start hop LK is ridiculous. Like just doing up forward JHP and calling. Um, H beam, or if if your band has brass and doing it free is ridiculous. Like you have to threaten the space in front of you. Like you gotta make you gotta give your opponent a reason to not contest you. And and, and in almost like in higher levels, if you get the first touch of round start, is that kind of leads leads the game. I love you too. Goodbye, people! <gasps> Bye! Thanks for stopping by. It's been awesome. I've come up with a whole Hello, new Lux. thing. Whole new thing? Yeah. Oh, so, one, you practice making stylish moves for Skullgirls Get Stylish. <laughs> then it becomes like a sync, like kind of like synchronized swimmers. But you make a team with someone else, and then you do moves that work together with another person, but you have to end with even hit so you tie by the time the time goes out. Oh. So you have to, like, weigh your options between, like, stylish-looking moves and also doing enough damage so that it's equal. That would be interesting, actually. Talk about teching that. I've seen people do that in other games, and it looks really cool, but really hard to perform. <laughs> Perfect plaything. <laughs> Symphony. I mean, you're right. I feel like two big nice bands on screen isn't gonna look good. Well, unless they're playing a song, which most people have done. Nice burst bait. We call back dashing. So back dashing in the air is actually not good for you because it leaves yourself open, and then it leaves you in a counter hit state. I'm not sure why we needed to spend both bar. I mean, you could have just sweetly and you can play that overhead. Nope. Caught them trying to do the horse. Side switch into the corner. Good idea. Nice overhead. Caught down backing. Bam, bam. Combo. Oh, right, we dropped so it. The, the, that yeah, was the judges nice are looking. definitely necessary, and they judge each group on, like, <laughs> style, getting closest to a tie, you know, all of these <laughs> levels of thing. But definitely right. have, like, little things Got out of them. 10, like you're watching figure skating or synchronized with <laughs> swimming. All right, well, I killed the Eliza. That's a bad... I think I, I think it's to work on the consistency of your combos. There's a lot of, a lot of drops there, unfortunately. Um, Dunce had a good idea on, on PBGC DPing right at the, the end of the couple seconds there. It was, it was a pretty good reaction to the Eliza Stanhart punch in the mirror. Heckin. That was a good idea. Though you dropped it in the middle. Uh, from the JMP, and, and then of course they tried to up forward press buttons, and then Dunks managed to be able to anti air into Horus, and that was a good punish. I wish it could be that good. Well, if you decide to join Struggles Get Great, you can certainly be as good as these people. May I take the lead? Time to put on a show. Showtime. 
Hmm. Round start, M ball, not the greatest of options, because that leaves you open, especially if you don't have an assist covering you. Sorry, spiral with the pressure, not bad. Fireball. You have to be careful about how the, the way you're going to approach your opponent as Fukuo, because if you're just going to run forward in JLP, you might just get shot for it. Silver Horde. Oh, we're playing Swoogly and Eliza, I just realized the cat's not here. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure why we sang. If we're, the, we're gonna let the just let the opponent just do things. It would have made more sense if they landed and then you sang, and then you tried to do. Um, I think I want to call it. Um, was it Daisy Pusher? Yeah. Thanks so much. Oh heck. Appreciate you. Step away. Hairball, now that's a good time to be able to use sing into the the ball there. The, the orb, I should say, not the ball. Oh no, the assist. Good push block, the ADC, nice. Caught him jumping, they were out backing. Jail gonna contest was a good idea. On the ground doing the uh, ashes to ashes there, that's pretty good. Another ashes to ashes, ca catching them. With the overheads. Gotta be careful of your dome. Another overhead. Yeah, we're down making a lot. So if you see your opponent down making a lot, you're, they're giving you a lot of respect because they're scared. That happens. It's just a matches thing. It's not bad though. Okay, now we got we're reaching the end to our good old get great event here. We got Mo, Mao, Meow, Meow. Something like that versus Doc. Listen, it's pronounced instrument. Oh, how right. many you're times right. do I have to tell you? You're right. It is pronounced instrument. You don't have to know how to pronounce what it looks like. It's pronounced instrument. That's true. That's true. Right. You're right. Showtime! Bell up shenanigans so, time. If you, if you want to take a note from Doc here, doing the um the JHP into um the, the, the double assist call there with M Bomber, pretty good round start because you cover the air option and you cover the horizontal space in front of you. No, they don't play Bell Band because you know they play double. That's what they want to play. Yeah, most kind of taking on Cloud Steam. Though we're still not consistent with the uh, the re jumps for Val. Gotta practice those a little more. I would also say to Mal, if you're gonna be tossing out things in the in air for neutral and and uh, contest the airspace, do not toss out your vials. You have, you want to keep your vial levels uh, for when you can combo into them. So like holding the button down, not great. Tossing your dead cross this is fine. You want to keep your vials though. That is a pretty band. That's got to be my favorite band. Interesting thing of note. If you are a Valentine, you have two meters. Uh, you can do DP motion kicks, uh, reverse DP motions, uh, and that will get you your counter rhythm. If it's a double, right, and they decide to do car, it's kind of like an invincible move. Uh, if you happen to do counter venom, you will hit double. That's a birthday, unfortunately. I actually don't know how to train neutral. Don't know how to train neutral? Some of that really is just down to matchup experience. Um, some things you could try to do in the lab, but really, it, it really just, it's, it's down to playing a lot of people. To kind of just feel it out. Some some things in the game really just have to feel it out after some time. Like we could tell you what buttons to be able to use in neutral, um, but like doing it, yeah. Play it, watch your games, definitely. See what works, see what doesn't. We can tell you what works and what doesn't, but like 
filling it up for yourself is really kind of like the way to do it. Oh, we're trying to be aggressive. Aggressive Bell. Be, be aggressive. Hey! What? I like the mint bell. That I was know, a bell. that's a really nice... Yeah. That's it's a nice a... bell of color. That's all, folks. We almost had the birthday, we just did not confirm. Instruments. What the heck with I'm very bad with these characters. <laughs> Listen, Mao's lying again. Can't believe this. It's the gaslighting. Of themselves. Movement patterns and grinding those until you're consistent with it. I would say that's a fair assessment, Robot. Finding out movement patterns and, and what works and what doesn't. Yeah, you, you need what? No one can explain to me what you're doing wrong. Weird. All right. Well, well, if if ever time you want to play me, I will certainly like I'll give you an essay. Because I'm, I'm usually down to give essays. Bam, bam, confirm. Okay, there it is. You need to call that assist way faster. That's a good time to be able to use the uh, the vial there. You're closer to the corner, so doing this combo actually doesn't make sense. So that, that OTG combo is good for like the mid-screen B&B, right? When you have a birthday, you just stick to the combo that gets you to the corner fastest. Oh, we snap the dead body, which is actually a pretty good idea. When is the best time for someone to pick you to play, oh, GP? Oh, well, good JP, time. GP. A good time to what play. What are letters? <laughs> what? When can I play you to play? Uh, I, I think it's best to be able to play me, like, during the night to, like... After Oliver's in bed. So yeah, after usually after we... Yeah, usually after 8.30 EST, because we had to put our kiddo to bed. Banish this, yes. Scalpels causes chip on block, and quite a fair amount of chip. Nice conversion. It's a lot of JHPs already used that button though. Yeah. So what, what would what would um, APM EST be like for EU? That's the question. <clears throat> the JLK, nice grab tech. Ah, uh, we thought we're gonna grab again until we decide to jump! Try to kill the corner, that's a good idea. 2 a.m. Ouch, ouch. So, Infernal Baby, I would just send JP a DM, and then you guys can figure out together when is a good time. Pretty um, much birthday! We can figure out something. Yeah, I can figure out something. We had the birthday! Doc, in that situation, because you're already in the corner, doing CHP into Cilia Slide will net you the corner. Both characters will, will uh, switch to the other side, and then you can just pick up off of OTG and do the snap combo. Snap him out. Snap ASAP to the snap combo. Oh no, we're not pressing buttons! What are you doing? <laughs> no more blocks, apparently. Mal, turn your brain off. Don't turn your brain off. Turn your brain on. You gotta be ever present in these games. Wow. Up forward with the A train is actually really aggressive. It's a good round start, actually. JHP. JHP is also super wide, so like trying to contest it is kind of hard. Unless you got your line cancels down. Pick a load off. Avoid the A train. We're good. <coughs> Jumping, though. Oof. Oh man. Scramble. Or press the buttons. That's not a good time to toss uh, across right there. You're just above the characters beneath you. I would have just kept with the falling buttons. That's a punish. Ouch. Low. That's a good idea. Ooh, connection though. Oh, 
Oh, connection. Oh dear. I may, may even just be me. Hey, Trayton. Oh, try for the hops. Toss out the chair. Try to get him grabbing. Mm, H bomber. Okay. Hit me. Good patience. No pickup. That's a punish. That was definitely a punish. You, could, you didn't need to push like that. Good patience. Nice punish. I feel like I checked this, but can never remember. Uh, one dead cross per air time. Right? I think so? I've never tested that actually. Schmixin! Good schmix. Toss out that heckin' vial though. I think we're too slow on the punish for the burst bait, okay? We're off backing a lot. Birthday! Fall and snap, yay, yeah, there you go. Ba -ba. No, my dude, if you're gonna do that, you need one hit of JHK and then you go into a bypass. Repeat from the pickup. Ba 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 boosh, that'll kill a vowel, certainly. Yes, SSJ. Prep for the overhead. Got caught from Bella, but we also got caught from the double assist. Almost had a pickup. Ba 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 boosh! Reckless endangerment. That was almost a punish. Oh, we tried to shoot back, but maybe not the best idea. No! Interesting. <laughs> ba ba ba. No, mouth. Nice grab. Conversion. Yeah, that was really scary. Bit, 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 You just need one bar to kill. Bella incoming, I swear it's gonna be a level three. Or people's elbow. That'll be fine. Or it's a level five. You're Not bad, y'all. Not bad. The funnies. The weird things that are happening. Alrighty. We've come to the end of the event. Uh, I'd say we got like 10 minutes. Let's do something we haven't done in a long time. Is it an open lobby? It's an open lobby! <gasps> an open lobby! Oh, I'm so excited. Get up in here, play some games. You do not need to have been registered for this event. If you just like to play some people, certainly can get up in here. Doesn't matter from where you're from, who you play, get up in here, play some games. Uh... Can't join. Rip. Okay, I will be. Just randoming, so whatever I random into, I'll play. Oh no. Why did I do this? Oh no. My wife has joined the lobby. What? No, I didn't. It's your lobby. That's weird. Wait, I lost the game. There it is. Word press the buttons, that's rip. I guess you get incoming with that. Like, see, now going into so this is where we don't exactly understand that. Uh, I mean, it was supposed to be meaty, but that was the wrong time to do it. And that was supposed to be a uh, bait, but you know, I ended up on the other side, of course. It's fine. Listen, I'll fix my thing. Hold on. I am actually wired. <laughs> oh god. Who am I? Oh! Okay, parasol. Sure. Tally-ho! Let's make sure this is actually- that's not the correct lobby link. Hmm. 
sure. This is what I want. Oh dear. <laughs> what? Everybody uh oh. Showtime. I'm pressing the wrong button. Everyone's the wrong color. The schmix. You're pressing buttons. You're trying to up forward. Up forwarding is not always the case, so I'm just gonna do it again. Forward is not always the case, I'm just gonna do it again. Punish that assist. Oh. Not always the case. So I'm just gonna do it again. Dead. Oh, it's connection. Got the overhead. The pickup. Obvious. Go for the overhead. Ba ba da ba. Ba 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 da ba. You fought well. Player two wins. Player two does the thing. No, I'm down to just pain wheel. No, the pain wheel. Okay. Oh, I'm being killed by a chair. No. Everything's fine. Wow. <laughs> wow, he's so fancy. Oh, I killed Beowulf. I killed a something. Everyone Nicely else is pretty done. much full health, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never hey. seen the power level three into level one. That is, in fact, a thing you can do if you feel like you're if you're not confident that level three will kill. You could also do it just oh, for extra dip I, damage. I am dead. Nah. Nice job. <laughs> Nicely done, Pro Dot. <laughs> Oh, thank God I'm spectating next match. It knew. You dropped the Bayhaven round. Okay. And I'll just be randoming it to whatever solo character it gives me. Um, that is not Peacock because I'm not confident with Peacock at all. Uh, but everybody else, you know. Okay. Okay. Backdash. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, gave a return with the jump park punch. That's not safe. Not safe. Okay. Okay. To so that point, you need to push block me way more. Because, you know, Fortune can be super heckin' aggressive. And especially with the high lotion on that she can have, it's woof. Spectating Sag. <laughs> I hope it makes me play you, because that will be so sad. <laughs> I hope it doesn't make me play you. Oh, you're afraid to play your wife? No. You have to run now. Farewell. Run really Goodbye. fast. But how fast could a big band run? Instruments run very fast if they're like trilling. <laughs> so just go like. I guess that's true. It sounds 
like most of the screaming has diminished. Yes, I had to tattle to Owen's dad. Oh, oh dear. You're like, your kid keeps killing my kid. Oh, man. Oh, 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 it's the, it's the, it's the us. It's the us. Oh, I don't think the, oh, okay. The <laughs> game was, the game had, had to think about it. Okay, I'm playing my worst character. Okay, wait, how do I do a color again? This is. <laughs> uh, you hit the start button. What's your plus? That was the wrong button. Okay. Oh, how am I. Ro no! You hit, you hit your minus. There you go. <laughs> okay. And then I hit my plus. And then. We get Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll be very good. Nope. Yeah, I won't try my weird. Oh, bloody bumpkins. Okay. Let's dance, darling. Okay. I hate peacock. Which okay. stage do you want? Oh, make that pretty one that you said was pretty. The, pretty the one? black and white one with the red in the back. Oh. Uh. Okay. Cause I know that combination. <gasps> do you remember how to deal with peacock? What? Do I what? Remember how to deal with Peacock. Yes, there's only one way to deal with Peacock. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck. Ah! Wait, I got... Well, apparently you found a way not to deal with Peacock. Oh, there it is. Oh, heck. <clears throat> I really only know the zoning pattern. Oh. Whoop. Didn't mean to press that button, but okay. Are you just pressing buttons or that was my turn? <laughs> There are times I don't mean to press the button. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to Argus. The boat. The boat is the way. Listen, I tried. I tried to boat. You did boat yeah. once and successfully. I kept hit. trying to boat. No, you yes. kept eating it. Well, you, you, the, the one time you boated into me, I got hit because... <laughs> I'm, I'm the boat. Rude. Wow. Yeah. Beating his wife. Everyone saw it here. Wow. Wife beater here. Wow. I'm teasing. Wow. Went. Okay. The proto dot. <laughs> okay, ran him into that. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Okay, what is your round start? Ooh, that's like so, dark. So that's the to deal with that. So you also remember that you also have Blitzer to be able to deal with nonsense. Your arm is also amazing as a character. So, like, you have, you gotta, you gotta push out buttons. Like, calling the assist is fine, but you need to push out buttons. Yeah, so, you like, if you're gonna approach me, approach me with the buttons. Certainly, if you're going to be doing um, fly, you need to fly out of the corner, not fly into the corner. With the right spacing, there you go. Okay, yep. Yeah. You can you can toss up beams twice in a row if you double jump, so that makes your zoning a lot more effective. Okay, so it's my turn for the incoming. Good blocks, yes. Okay. 
Now I'm noticing that you're jumping, so I want to change my zoning pattern. I push block to be able to punish the SSJ. Yeah, you need to approach me with buttons. So like, if, if you're gonna, like, calling out HB is fine, yes. Um, full screen doing that, cool. If we're at, like, round start distance, you need to hit me with buttons. Like, you like you need to just toss out your JLP, toss up your JHP, do the thing. How'd you do? I at least killed them once during the take two. Oh, nice, okay. That's pretty but good. But they're really good at the, the Drilly hair. The drilly hair is pretty good. That does not get you hit. So like you don't know what you're doing at round start? Yeah. The 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 thing that you're supposed to be doing at round start is trying to predict what your opponent's going to do. So if, if you're gonna like you're Beowulf, you can just hop you hop JLP. Because that's it, you're threatening an overhead. Um because you know, that's a thing. What do I have? Eliza. Um you could also up for JHP, because that's a button. Um, well, you have your syscall for the HP. Those are things. You're trying to win neutral so you can start get started. So I'm going to predict that this person's going to do SPL. And I did, you know, that was wrong. But I was patient enough and I didn't get hit for it. We're in this mixture now. Nice block, but we didn't block the other way. So fast, okay. I'm pressing button still, so I use the DP, and then I'm gonna corpse, corpse snap, so I can get the incoming faster. Patience, because I dropped. Into the A train. The rest of the blade is fine. It's still my turn. Corpse snap. Coming faster. And go for a burst bit. Nice, good. They had patience, which was good. Okay. Yeah, they all hop normals are really good. So like tossing them out of round start is really tech and nice. If you snap the body out. Uh, does that prevent Val's level 5 from working? Yes, it does, because there's no corpse on screen for Val to do anything with. So yes, you get your incoming faster, and, and there's no corpse for Val. I wish I knew that last week. That's understandable. That's one of those, those are like one of those hidden mechanics sort of thing. Val likes corpses, that's true. Okay, we'll do open lobby for like another five minutes and then call it there. Showtime! Toss the fireballs. Same sort of advice for you, thank. Uh, like, it, like it is for uh, Cry. Up forwarding and fireballing is asking to, to get bopped pretty hard. Because um, you want to threaten the space in front of you and not occupy the space. Which makes us nice. Get ready. You have to spend two bar. You also had enough for one more string, so there wasn't any point to spend two bar. You could have done that immediately. So yeah. Mix. Okay. Good block. Did not block the overhead, though. That's not safe. Good punish. Good awareness on the OTG. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't your, still wasn't your turn at that point, but I hit it anyway. Boop, boop. Yeah, that CHP is not safe, so you could have certainly light punished it a little quicker. Ooh, careful about tossing about an H press, because that's scary. Okay. Uh, we did not tech, so that was, this is not a real combo. I, I kind of wish Scar Rolls uh, does the Dragon Ball thing. Where it's like orange if it's a true combo, but blue if there's a drop in the middle.
Okie dokily. See my PFP? Yeah. Now, what do we got? Beowulf, sure. Alright, so we're playing Beowulf versus the Squiggly. Beowulf's got options to deal with Squiggly's options. I'm gonna opt forward in JHP, and if that doesn't happen, then that's fine. JHP. I'm gonna hop for the reset. Low again. Calls out their option. Get some hype. And I'm making my turn. That's an overhead. That's a low. Then I didn't want to combo. We're gonna be careful with the brass right there. Nice grab. That was good. Call out your button at level three. Boosh. Push block that because you're doing heavy. out your spit, all over your buttons by a spaced SHP. You can space that out and then combo them to stuff. Probably two more matches and then we'll call it there. Hello! How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I gave up. My hands started to hurt. That is totally fair. I'm sorry <laughs> for your hands. Hands are. It's okay, I don't need hands. You need hands. You're playing Final Fantasy. You need hands for Final Fantasy. What? I'm not playing Final Fantasy? How dare you out me like this? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm gonna start playing that as soon as we're done. What? <laughs> we're not playing Final Fantasy. We're gonna make dinner for our kids. This is also true. I'm gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm not riding a chocobo right now. What? What? Riding chocobo? I'm so sorry, love. I <laughs> abandoned you. <laughs> Listen, the chocobos were calling me. <laughs> um, ride the chocobo. <laughs> it's fun to ride a chocobo. This is yes, my love, you've married a crazy woman. You? What? You were not you crazy. Didn't know? You were ah, not crazy. I win. You're not crazy. Listen. Listen, everything's fine. <laughs> Just relax. Listen to the sound oh. of my voice okay. and be at peace. <laughs> Eternally. Eternally? What? What? Nothing. Just okay. calm, soothing sounds. This is my option since... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you're back at school. Bam, so Philly's the smitching machine. Machine? Machine. Ooh, can we get that wolf person as the next person? Oh, that's Sonic After Fox. After Annie? Who's that? That's Sonic Fox. Oh wait, that- Oh! Are, that, are they gonna be a character? That'd be interesting. Make How would they Sonic play? Sonic Fox the character? Yeah. Then would That'd Sonic Fox main Sonic Fox? <laughs> That'd be cool. Actually. Okay, we're gonna do corner schmicks. Good blocks. Nice push block. Alright, 
Are you specifically picking everybody's colors? No, that was on purpose. But didn't you do it in the last match too? No. Ah, <laughs> because huh, you and that Bella were the same colors. <laughs> Your Bayo and that Bella. You are stealing people's colors. Oh, I'm randoming into them. I'm just in the random button. Hmm. The random button wants you to steal people's colors. The first pick, good patience, DP. Not the greatest conversion. That's a pretty good color. This is my Philly color. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is your Philly color. I randomed into it. You stole it. Infernal baby. Oh man. Let's see. There it is. There's a real robot. That's the first person I ever played on Get Great. Yeah. Squiggly, I guess. Okay. We're gonna. I mean, back then they were but a fake robot. Then over time, <laughs> it became real. True. True. This is the power of Get Great. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Sing. So you can't get away from me. I'm gonna lull. Caught him jumping. Oh, but see, the thing is, you can claim anything because nobody will know the difference. I'll claim all of the colors. Except for the pink and the red ones. You all can have it. No, I have to go deal with the primal. Oh, oh. Okay. Not safe. Got to me. Overhead. Oh, level three. Oliver screaming again. Do I think it's scream. happy screams now? It doesn't seem as bad. It's not, you know, yeah. my cousin is griefing me and... <laughs> yeah, God. Megan, I've had my cousin grief me, but in real life... Oh, okay. It's not great. How do you this good mirror? Totally understand. I would do one more. <clears throat> Listen. I don't think you've been... Listen. Yeah? I'm I'm doubting your your commitment here. I'm doubting my Juan more. Yes. I don't understand why it was. Oliver is creating some sort of weird game, and those necklaces that we are supposed to wear represent our class. However, the only cool class is the one that he's being. What what is that? So your magic power, because you were given that one, and we're on the same team because they're both blue. So your magic power is that you can call things from the ancient world into existence. It takes you one second of casting time, I think. I picked I will learn melee weapons. Oliver has those song powers, and they're like beyond teams. They're like, I have no idea. But that was, that was the discussion uh, before the Mario Kart. Okay. Then. Listen, living with a child. <laughs> okay. Sounds very creative. No <laughs> idea what you're supposed to do with it. All right then. Yeah, Everything's I fine. What to do with it? Yeah then. It's <laughs> is this not D &D being discussed? D&D uh, &D is discussed on the reg, <laughs> yeah. but uh, this is the mom. I invented a new game. First bit. But it doesn't seem to have anything other than a list of powers and wearing these um, chewable necklaces. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Mine kind of looks like a, a lightsaber, mainly because apparently the things that you Not summon in yeah. <laughs> actually get hurt, so they're like real things. Um, and the the rules for the magic system, as described, did not seem very believable to me. So you right just stuck with it. Sorry. I wouldn't be surprised if my child started a cult. There's a one point where I tried to start a cult. I didn't remember that until you just said that. Oh man. <laughs> oh poop. Um. Well, it's not. 
edible, it's chewable. So, like, um, my kiddo probably has ADHD, and they have a tendency to, like, put Legos in their mouth, so I looked up chewelry, which is jewelry that it's okay to chew on. And so now he can chew on that instead of chewing, like, his pencils at school or his toys. Um, and that's been working well for him, so... <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it. If he starts eating it, I have to take them away. Yeah. But, but they're food grade silicone something. Yeah. What's up? Alrighty, buddy. Thank I, you. I'm everybody. sorry, real robot. <laughs> I'm sure we can use some candy necklaces sometime, but I think we get enough sugar right now. Yeah. Wait till That's Valentine's true. Day candy is over. <laughs> That's true. Alright, buddy. Thank you for everyone who participated in today's event. If you would like to see some more Skullgirls, there's always the weekly Wednesday event, Skullgirls Be Great. Where you can be great. Where you can be great. And be not great. Also true. It's 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Now, while there is a loser's bracket, it doesn't mean you're a loser. The only losers are the ones who don't play. Oh, poop. I can't believe. Yes, hi. Wow. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Goodbye. Appreciate you. Let's go. Hurtful. Man, thanks.